Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on Hunt of Colour Ward, we're on Tiwara National Park and we're going after Shamwa. I've got a potential diamond in front of me. I'm going to show you all my favourite locations for getting Shamwa times to visit them. I'm using the 243 at the minute. That looks like a good shot. I'm hoping it's a diamond. We do need one for Sasiki Swari Trophy Lodge and I'm hoping that is the one. I spent the last few days dialing in the locations and the times that seem to work best for these chamois and I found that seven to eight o'clock is really good around lakes and ponds and I've got a couple of really good locations that always produce the goods. All right, let's jump on the ATV, have a drive over and I'll meet you over there. Fingers are crossed, is it gonna be a diamond? There it is. It is a diamond. It's a male. It's 64.44 kilo, grey brown, level five, and it scored 60.70. Left lung, right lung. Nice clean shot. 227 meters. Now you need 58 for a diamond. These chamois. I've also got true racks. We'll take a look at those. See what the differences are. It's A, B, C, and D for the true score evaluation, and that adds up to make the total score. So you've got horn length, overall spread, circumference, and height of horns. This one looks pretty symmetrical though. Now over the last few days while I've been putting this guy together, I've had quite a few rears at this lake I'm gonna show you in a minute. I call it Shamwa Lake, and you'll know why when I go there. There's about 30 to 40 chamois around it. You often get leucistic or melanistic ones there. And I've had some really big melanistic ones. I had two fours uh, that just about made diamond as well. One was literally just under. I'll show you him when we go to Sisiki Swari Trophy Lodge. But he's not quite a diamond. If it had been a diamond, I'd have put him in there. But I'm hoping I can get one of these melanistic diamond chamois. That would be a great addition to Suzuki Survival Tree Flush. Now this is the first outpost on the lake we've just been shooting at. When you start Tiwari National Park, it's often the one that's nearest to where you start and land at the reserve. Now I've got a tent on that location because you can see straight off the lake to this drinking point and there's often Shamwar all on this left hand side of the lake. And as you can see, I've got drinking zones all on this left hand side. On the right hand side there isn't any, there's only feral goats mainly on the right hand side but on the left hand side where these drinking zones are, these need zones, you get shamwar at all those locations. You could put a tent at the bottom as well and have one at the bottom to check those two zones or those areas, they might be different on yours but there will be shamwar on that left hand side. I come here at 7 in the morning, 7 to half past and up till 8 o'clock. About eight o'clock, they start to go back up into the hills. Um, so you've got to try and catch the sweet spot when they'll be there near the water. And like I say, I come about half past seven, have a quick look, and then I go on to this location. Now this location I call Shamwa Lake. There you go. This outpost, see this little ridge here? There's a, a rocky face, it's quite high, but you can drop down it, go to this lake, and look all the way around. It's really simple. 7.30 I come here, so what I normally do is go about quarter past seven, half seven at the other one, quick check and then come here. And all you do is you walk straight forward to this ledge. Now it looks quite high but you can drop down it. All you have to do is go left, pull into it and then slide down it, pull in left. And you normally won't take any damage. If you do take damage, it won't be much. Now uh, there's our first chamois at Shamwa Lake. It looks sort of like an apple, a heart sort of shape. It's not too big, but you can see all the way around it. Now at this time in the morning though, sometimes it rains here quite a bit. So you will have a little bit of fog and mist all around this area where I'm looking. And sometimes it looks like there's nothing there. Trust me, there's a lot of chamois in this mist on the left and right. So make sure you just keep checking left and right, left and right. You might think there's nothing there. Give them a few minutes because sometimes they're still coming down from the mountains to the water. So that's how you get down. Pull to the left, slide down, 
and then just check all the way whichever way you want to do it right to left left to right but just keep checking and then double check because sometimes you'll think nothing like we've just been saying is there and then they just pop up or you hear them calling like that you can shoot quite a few of them here as well all they do is they seem to run around it or they go up into the hills so you can get quite a few kills it if you really want to go and slaughter them but just keep checking around and there is about 30 to 40 um chamois at this location like i say i haven't found a location this good anywhere on tiwara for chamois now this sort of area on the right hand corner is very good and you see a lot in this area like i say you get a lot of melanistic and leucistic ones I'm not sure if there's albino ones yet, I'm not seeing an albino, but I have seen quite a few leucistic and melanistic ones. I've already had a diamond chamois, so I'm not too bothered, unless we see another one, um, about getting any kills here. I'm just showing you how many and how good this location is. Like I say, seven to eight, same as the first one. Come here first, go there, go here. You know what I mean? Whichever way you want to do it just do it how you want to do it but just visit these locations and you should get plenty of action so what's been your favorite part of Tiwara National Park that you've seen up to yet what's your favorite species on Tiwara I think feral goats man I like those I like the feral pigs as well so there's quite a few nice animals on there I've been mule deer hunting quite a bit as well recently on the other reserves and I got my diamond true rex mule deer which i've been after for four months check that video out i think already seen it but if you want to see any guides for the hunter call a wild drop that in the comments and normally what i do is i just see what's the most popular request and then go out and make that guide but this chamois lake is amazing lots of chamois around it 7 30 to 8 o'clock come here we're going to jump to sissiki Safari trophy lodge now and take a look at my diamond chamois now, I always wondered why people called them chamois. I thought it was just like the nickname for the actual animal, but it's because of the cloth that you're cleaning with the chamois. That it's made from their skin, and I never actually knew that, so I learned something new. Well, this is the room we've gone in, and this is full of diamonds. And what I thought was, we added this diamond feral pig the other day, but I thought, you know what, I've got quite a few diamond turkeys in here. I'm going to remove him and put in the diamond chamois in his place restructure it i'm always tweaking things let's have a look at the melanistic one i got that was nearly a diamond the other day it was really nice and um, so close i needed 58 and it was 57 35 i think it was as you can see that's really nice it's so close just under look it needs to be 58 <laughs> so close but it looks really nice but he's not going in sorry he's not going in. he's not a diamond so out you come not in this room anyway, this is just going to be all diamonds and hopefully every other room is as well and every other place. Bit of an achievement to do but we're going to try it. But there is our diamond chamois, our diamond chamois and I must say I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video as well and I hope it helps you out. I love making these guys for people for Call of Wild. I'm Ron McTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channels. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.